he's really been working on staying on the mound in contact with the mound, slowing his delivery down right there and staying on his backside to drive down on the fastball. Dropped a breaking ball on him. Got him. Uncertain swing on a 93 heater. Ah, drops a breaking ball on him that time, and that's it for the Brew Crew. And a fastball froze him. And a fastball upstairs to elevate for the strikeout. Keeping the ball down beautifully. It's a foul tip into a strikeout. Number eight. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss on a breaking ball in the dirt. The pitch is strike three. Baines is out. Roark with his 11th strikeout of the afternoon. And he's going to get called out as Tanner Roark does some painting. Swing and a miss. 93 on the heater. And Lorenzo Kane trying to hit that ball up half street. These guys do strike out a lot. Yeah, talk to some Brewers hitters today, and they were talking about that pitch right there, the one that brought Kane to his knees. You see how it's not just running into the right handers, it's got some depth to it. It's going down and in a true sinker. 3 2 with one out. And that's a strike three call. Eric Kratz for the second out in the fourth. And for Tanner Roark, his second K of the night. And a good pitch by Tanner Roark, 92 on the heater. Third strikeout tonight. Roark rocks and kicks. The 0 2 on the way, swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. Suzuki a free agent to be now a breaking ball swung on and missed low curve at 76 miles an hour. That's strike three Roark rocks and kicks and the pitch swing a ground ball towards short Turner gobbles that one up is throwing plenty of time to Zimmerman and Tanner Roark has the first two men retired. Big spot. The three one swing a high pop up shallow center moving in a couple of steps waiting for it is Robles. He'll make the catch fire toward third holding Swanson at second. As Turner cuts off the throw. So that's a big one for Roark to get a Cunha on a pop up to center on three and one. Roark to center. That's going to back up Odubo Herrera. In fact is going to back him up to the wall to pick it up when it stops rolling. And the Nats lead one nothing on Tanner Roark's eighth run batted in this year. I could be wrong, but I saw a leg kick for Tanner Roark that I don't believe I've seen before. I might have missed it last start, but this ball's drilled. Herrera cheating in, pitcher sitting right, watch the leg kick, gets the foot down, barrels this one up, straight away center field. He knew he was getting the heater. Look at the big leg kick. And give Matt Weeders credit for getting Ryan Zimmerman to third and making this at bat much less stressful on Tanner Roark. Change up, way out ahead. That is his second strikeout all day. Swing and a miss on a big sweeping curveball. Fastball, see ya. Strike three called, tailing fastball outside corner. Strikeout number six for Tanner Roark. Swing and a miss on a ball just diving down. Still a great day for Tanner Roark.